Hello everyone, David A. Qua here with another vlog video for you. This one's for April 12, 2015, where I basically tell you guys what I've been up to, okay? What, what movies I've seen, video games I've been playing, what TV shows have I completed watching and stuff like that. I'm, I'm, before we get to that though, I'm going to tell you guys what, what special events have I been getting myself into. What, what, uh, uh, what's going on? Why haven't I uploaded a vlog video over in, in the past two weeks, right? Um, so I'm going to give you guys all the details on what I've been celebrating, what, what, I've, what I've been doing, why am I so busy and stuff like that. Then we're going to talk about the movies, the video games, the TV shows and whatever. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys what, what videos, videos I'm, I, I'm planning to upload this upcoming week. A lot of people keep asking me, David, what are, what's your next, next video going to be about? I'm going to tell you guys in this video right near. Uh, then we're going to do Q&A because last, last time we did a vlog, I asked you guys to ask me questions and stuff like that. We're going to do that again, of course. And then uh, shout outs. A lot of people keep going on my Twitch streams and saying, hey, Dave, can you do a shout out to me in your next video and stuff like that? So we're going to do that in this video, okay? So why have I been, why have I been so busy? Um, Basically, all the family and relatives uh, basically are having spring break or, or Easter Sunday and stuff like that. We're all want to cram all these holidays together and all these uh, special family gatherings. So, a couple Sundays ago was my cousin Aaron's birthday. Okay, so we had a barbecue over his house. We had burgers. I had two huge burgers, man. It was, it was freaking huge. And uh, I gave him my, my war machine figure, by the way. Uh, I, I don't have that Iron Man War Machine figure anymore. Uh, I, I gave it. I gave. I gave. I gave it to my uh, cousin Aaron. Uh, I also gave him one of my Tom Clancy books. That I, you know, don't I have two copies of. So I don't have those anymore. Uh, and then last week was my cousin Clark's birthday. Uh, I actually uploaded a video about that where he unboxed his Minecraft toys. You know, my, my parents dragged me to Walmart and they're like, hey, your cousin Clark's birthday is coming up. I, I, I don't know what, what, what he likes. What, what do you think he likes? And we bought him Minecraft toys. He had, that, that entire birthday was surrounded by Minecraft stuff, by the way. He had, everyone gave him Minecraft stuff. But uh, I, I did uh, a video of him unboxing, you know, my present to him. or my, uh, Really, it's my parents' present to him. Uh, today is actually my cousin Arnold's birthday, which is Aaron's brother so yeah birthdays back to back um uh sunday um was easter so i went to my grandparents house um in oklahoma and we celebrated uh easter there we had a, we had a we went to the backyard and we threw out eggs and stuff like that and all the kids ran in and, and tried to pick it up as fast as they could um we had like a thanksgiving-ish type dinner and there was turkey and and and, and um mashed potatoes and corn and stuff like that so, so we had we had a, you know, traditional Easter dinner and Easter gathering with everyone. Um, my my um, family, my relatives from New Jersey actually came came to uh, Easter also. And it's been a long time since I've, since I've seen my uh, my godson, Joseph, so it's really nice to see him again. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, that, that's why I've been so busy the past couple weeks. There's been so many family gatherings, you know. Uh, so let's talk about movies and stuff like that that I've been watching. I've only seen one movie, uh, Frog Melodies. Asked me in one of my previous vlog videos, have I seen the Wonder Woman movie from uh, DCU AOM? I finally have seen it. I, I've owned it for years, but I never actually sat down and watched it. I finally did. Uh, so I saw the Wonder Woman movie, the animated movie. <clears throat> and uh, this is from a different time period where I know Wonder Woman. Every time I've seen Wonder Woman, she's always, she's always joined the Justice League or she's already part of our world and stuff like that, you know? This was before all that. She was still on the island of Themyscira with all the Amazon and stuff like that. You see all of her sisters, all these characters I've never even knew about, like uh, like Artemis, Alexa, Persephone. Um, so if you haven't seen this movie, it, it, it's like a, a different part of her life, you know? It's not when he, she's already joined the Justice League, she's already, you know, uh, fighting crime in in the world of man and stuff like that. This was before all that, okay? So this is a very, very interesting storyline. It's like a, an origin story, okay? Well, actually, it is an origin story. She, she uh... <clears throat> there was like a, a, a very cool scene where it's like gladiators and she was uh, fighting all, her, all of the uh, other people and then she, she, she won the contest and uh, she got the, uh, the signature outfit that, that we all know that she has. Okay? So if you haven't seen this movie, it's good. All right? And uh, Batman vs. Robin is actually coming out this week. I'm actually going to make a haul video for it, so that's, that's one of the videos that are coming out this week. Uh, I also finished a TV show. It's called Bamboo Blade. I don't remember when it came out. Probably like mid two thousands. But it's one of those, uh, you know, high school teenager drama type shows. Um, <clears throat> uh, but it specifically focuses on the Kendo team, and um, like this girl here, Tama. 
She's like a prodigy, you know, and the coach of the kendo team, of this high school kendo team. Uh, he's about to lose his job, and he, they ha he has to make sure that this kendo team uh, makes a success and uh, brings the school back and, and all that, you know. So it's a very interesting show. There's uh, 26 episodes, and, uh, you know, I liked it. Um, there, was, there was some action, and there was very cute moments and stuff like that. So Bamboo Blade, I haven't seen it. Um, it's all right. It's all right, okay? There's not much to complain about. Video games I completed this past week. I'm going to tell you guys the order in which I finished them. This is like the past two weeks, okay? So I finished Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway. I was actually going to make a, a, a talk about this in my last last week, but, you know, that, it was Easter Sunday and um, not a lot of stuff. Um, all the stuff was going on, so I, I, I couldn't make a, a video about it. But I, I, I did like this game. It was a first-person shooter strategy type game, so it's not like Call of Duty or Battlefield where you can pretty much control everything. You basically tell your AI partners where to go, so the map will just zoom right out, and you say, okay, I want two guys over here, I want two guys to stand over there to flank him, and I'll, I'll walk into the middle. It's like a very strategic type game, okay? And uh, it's like a game that you'll die over and over again trying to figure out. It's pretty much similar to... Um, to so calm or like those Tom Clancy games, it's very str str uh, strategic, you know. So Brothers in Arm, Hell's Highway. I think this is like the second game in the, in the main series or something like that. I don't know. I, I played D-Day on the PSP way back when. I'm not a huge fan of Brothers in Arms games, but I really enjoy finishing this. Okay. And if I want to get a thousand achievements, you know, like platinum the game, I probably can. It's actually a pretty easy game um, once you know what to do. Uh, as you know, I've done a huge haul video of PlayStation 4 games. I've only finished two of them this past week. I finished The Order 1886 and Battlefield 4. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about Battlefield 4 because I, I finished this game on PS3. I got the PS4 version. It looks beautiful, by the way. A lot better than, than the PS3 version. Um, I tried to get gold on all, all the missions, which I actually kind of did, except for one. The one where we have to drive the tank. Um and fight like four tanks at the, at the same time and stuff like that I couldn't get golden on that mission I, I tried so many times man I couldn't do it so whatever Battlefield 4 I'll, I'll keep the game installed on my system because I, I really like the, the gameplay alright and uh, I'll, I'll pick up Battlefield Hardline sometime in the future The Order 1886 is exactly what all the reviews said very limited gameplay too many cutscenes uh, the game says, oh, there's going to be 16 chapters, 16 missions or whatever, you know? But probably like like three of those missions or whatever are, are, are nothing but cutscenes. You just sit there and you're watching a video and stuff like that. The graphics are beautiful, by the way. Like, I, I my, 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 my friend Tony actually came over the other day uh, after we ate at Olive Garden and um, <clears throat> with, with uh, you know, the whole group of us. And we came over and I, I was like, you got to look at this game. So I, I, I popped the game in a little couple of chapters and I, I had him watch all the cutscenes and stuff like that. He said, it's a beautiful game. So if you just want to have a game, just say, hey, you don't well, you want to buy a PS4, but you're no, not sure? Well, here, watch this. Look at these graphics. So he, he's now actually on, on, on the fence now about getting um, a, a PS4 because now he knows what the PS4 can do, you know, when it comes to graphics. But overall, this game is really short. It's exactly what it is. It's too many quick time events, very short game, um, too many cutscenes, you know, not enough gameplay, uh, not enough variety of enemies, uh, the game's uh, concerns werewolves and stuff like that, but you only see them like three times, whatever, right? Um, or 18.6. Whatever, you know, I played it, I enjoyed it, uh, I still have not gotten all the trophies, there's a lot of collectibles in the game, but uh, I don't know when the next time I'll pop the game in and stuff like that, you know. So, upcoming videos for the week, alright, if anyone's wondering what videos will I be, will I be uploading, uh, when Batman vs. Robin comes out, I don't know if I'm getting on launch day, because I, I do have to go to work and school and stuff like that, so, so I may not get until like the weekend, which my friend Tony and I, we've seen every DCU AOM recent movie since, since like year one, Batman year one, okay? So since then, we've been watching every single movie that, that was coming out, so I'll get the movie, okay, maybe on Tuesday I'll unbox it or something like that, but I probably won't watch it until Saturday, and maybe if I feel like it, I, I may wait until, you know, I unbox it and do it on Saturday. So who knows, sometime in the next week or so, Batman vs. Robin, the animated movie concerning the, uh, the Court of Owls and stuff like that, will be coming out sometime this upcoming week, alright? Another thing that I just purchased on eBay recently, it was for $75, I couldn't believe it, it was still in the packaging and stuff like that, um, 
and the person had good reviews and stuff like that, so it's not like some some fake or bootleg version of it, uh, hopefully. I guess we'll know when it finally arrives. I bought the complete Matt Smith years, okay? Doctor Who on, on Blu-ray, okay? It's like three seasons of, of but it also includes the movie, uh, the adventures in space and time, like, it includes all these specials and stuff like that. I was like, $75, that, that's, a, that's a steal, okay, for all these, like... One season is like 40 bucks, <laughs> you know, so getting the, the complete series, um, you know, com uh, complete years of Matt Smith uh, from the Doctor Who years, uh, the, the, the Doctor Who series, um, for $75, that's like an amazing deal. And also includes the Blu-rays, which I don't have, of um, uh, David Doctor, Adventure Space Time, and all these other specials I, I, I never knew, I, I never seen, you know. So that's coming, I'm going to do unboxing when that, that arrives, okay. Of course... That may be a big fail video, in which I will still upload it, you know? I upload it, oh my gosh, these are all bootleg versions, oh no, it's like, just like the Sopranos, if you don't, if you don't remember. Wait, I never uploaded that video. I had a video where I, I um, recorded my, my, um, Sopranos box set. I bought the complete series of, of Sopranos, and when I opened it, it was like completely bootleg video, uh, DVDs, okay? And it was very disappointing. Um, so hopefully it doesn't happen this time with the, with the Matt Smith years for Doctor Who. I know a lot of people are probably like, uh, David, I thought you are never, never going to make a Doctor Who video again. I'm going to explain that in the video, alright? So, two of those videos, I can guarantee, will come up this next week, if it arrives in time, okay? Um, or if I had any trouble, oh my gosh, the uh, Batman vs. Robin completely sold out. It's like the first movie that ever sold out in, in the history of, of, of DC and stuff like that. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be pretty interesting, okay? So, um, let's do Q&A, and then we'll do shoutouts at the end, okay? Uh, Poop Malik asked me, what's your favorite color, and do you play any sports? Uh, he asked me this question like a bazillion times. I might as well just ask, uh, answer in this video, finally, okay? My favorite color is green. A lot of people would assume it's blue or red because I always wear those colors uh, when I'm when I'm out with my friends and stuff like that. But it's actually green. I like green, all right. And, and uh, pr primarily that, that's because I love the Green Ranger and Man Money More from Power Rangers when when he first appeared. Okay. And since then I've always been like a a green loving guy. <laughs> um, do you play any sports? Uh, also from Poop Malik. Um, when I was in high school, I played tennis. But I never actually played like in tournaments. Okay, um, I went to practice. Um, you know, I, I practiced with the team, but uh, that that was pretty much it. I, I never actually got involved with like actual playing against other schools and stuff like that. But I, you know, my friend was on the team, so I, I kind of joined the team in a, in a way. But I, I just came to practice. You know, play with them and stuff like that. The coach likes me, and uh, that was pretty much it. I never actually played professionally because I'm not that good. <laughs> um, not not professionally, but you know, play against other schools, be in the tournaments. You know. Uh, stuff like that. <clears throat> Zach Campbell asks, what year were you born? 1986. And what is your job? Uh, I'm in school to become a teacher, a chemistry professor, but uh, my, my current job right now is I I'm a CMA, a certified medications aide. I work in a nursing home, and basically when and when it's time to give the old people their medicine, I, I just give them a cup of their their pills, and that that's pretty much it. You know, sometimes you watch those uh, those movies where we're at the psychic cost, uh, psych, uh, psychiatric hospital or something like that, and they're just like they're, people are lined up and they're giving them cups of medicine. That's what I do pretty much. You know, um, so that's my job. <clears throat> uh, and then the most uh, asked question ever on the history of my YouTube that it's like a bunch of people ask me this: Boston Kid thirteen. The Random Guy, Tyler White, Elmo Plays Lots of Games, and Poop Malik all ask me the same question. And sometime in the past uh, a few months of, of videos, I, I just collected them all because the people keep asking the same question. What's my favorite video game? It's Metal Gear Solid 3. Uh, I, I've said that a bunch of times. I even made its own video, by the way. So, so yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3. I don't know how many times I have to say that, but, but there it is, all right? <clears throat> so, uh, okay. Shout outs. A lot of people went on my Twitch stream and actually asked me specifically that they want a shout out. Uh, Mex Garo, Doggy Gamer, uh, Benji Sotonic, which you can also follow on Twitch, uh, Lee Bradley, REM8, Dorian Henson, Kenny Gel, who didn't really want one, but I might as well just throw him in there just, just for heck of it. Dolphin Girl 2004, who just followed me. I just want to give you a shout out just because he just followed me. Uh, Supreme Gaming HD, also known as Zombot4 on Xbox Live. Okay, so if you guys want to friend them or whatever, or, or subscribe or follow or whatever, uh, there are their Twitch names. All right. So that's it for, for this week's video. Uh, 
We'll, uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know what the updates are. Uh, what am I currently playing on, on Twitch, by the way? Chances are you're going to see me play Assassin's Creed Unity. I'm, I'm currently trying to finish that game. And then probably, uh, uh, sh occasionally I'll play Shadow of Mordor, Middle Earth, okay? Um, but I'm trying to focus mainly on Assassin's Creed right now. And sometimes you don't see me on Twitch at all. It's because I'm on my Xbox 360 and I'm playing Grand Theft Auto V and uh, Assassin's Creed 3. I'm trying to, trying to get better, uh, more, more achievements in that game. All right. So thank you for watching, people. Uh, rate, favorite, subscribe. If you want to ask me questions to, uh, to be asked in the uh, to be answered in the next Sunday vlog, go ahead and comment below, or, uh, or, or uh, and, and I'll I'll get to it next week. Okay. So thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.